Have y'all seen this trend that just seems to get more and more popular? I mean, it's like literally everywhere. And I'm definitely part of this trend too. Retro tech just becoming more and more popular. I'm talking like vinyl, VHS, even like Game Boys or old school iPods. And there's this lab at UW-Milwaukee that is preserving and studying this old school tech. So the retro lab is a space that we've repurposed as uh, <laughs> somewhere where people can come and explore computing technologies from the late 70s to the early 2000s. The lab is really focused on experiential learning. Get your hands on this technology so you can understand how computers have developed over the years. And here's a key thing to think about. A lot of technology has not developed as fast as our computers and phones. I'm 29 years old. I definitely didn't grow up with this tech. It's almost like if you have a computer or a phone, if you hold on to it for five years, it becomes obsolete. This lab literally lets you feel how technology has developed. So often when people come in, they're like, oh, I remember this thing, you know, quite an early childhood memory, such and such a game I played and so on. And then if I'm able to show them that, it's often a, a quite emotional kind of reaction. So I think in recovering the old technology, we're also recovering parts of people's lives. You know, in history, we deal with primary source uh, materials so much and so software is a primary source um, and just being able to see it like this um, is really important because otherwise there might not be any way for me to actually see how the software looks or how it um, operates. 